Welcome back to the Reflector channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick fix to a common problem that happens to a lot of telescopes. Over the years, I've fixed up a lot of telescopes, and one of the more common problems is with these rubber treads that you find on the focuser wheels. They're really just rubber belts, and they have a texture on them. Unfortunately, here in the Texas heat especially, they tend to eventually get old, disintegrate, and literally fall off the wheels. So I get a lot of these telescopes that don't have any rubber belts at all. It's just this bare metal. And it's actually pretty slippery, so if you're using your telescope in cold weather, it can be a little bit difficult to use. I've tried to find replacement belts to go on here, but I haven't had any luck lately. Uh, if you Leave a comment down below if you have an alternate source for them. But you know what? I have a fix that actually I've been using for a couple years, and it works really well. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Crayford Focuser here. It's from a Orion telescope. This is fairly standard fare. What I did was I went on Amazon and I bought some silicone O-rings. Uh, you can see the ad here. They come in a pack of 10 for about $8. And you know what? I put a link to them down below in case you want to go ahead and do this same fix. Now, I just happen to have four of them here sitting on this fun science fiction novel. Uh, you should check it out. Anyways, I've got these four silicone O-rings, and I'm going to go ahead and put them on the focuser wheel. It's pretty easy. There's a little lip here that keeps them from falling off, and that really works to our advantage. So let's start with the first one and roll it all the way down there. Let's start with number two. Oop. Yep. And number three. And the fourth one can be a little bit tricky, but let's give it a try. You should be able to fit four on here. There should be enough room for four. So there you go. That, that was actually pretty easy. This ends up being pretty grippy. I actually really like this fix. And you know what? This is exactly the fix that I have on my own 8-inch Dobsonian telescope, sort of a Frankenstein telescope. You can see it here. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you found a different way to solve this common problem. Clear skies, everybody.